Well, that has to be the most attractive DCI I've ever seen. Oh, bless you. Um, Thank well, you very much. And funnily enough, <laughs> here you are, here, James here Murray, equally attractive. Good morning. <laughs> so, extraordinary circumstances you are returning to for, yeah. the, for the first episode of Suspects. Absolutely, yeah. Um, Faye Ripley's character, uh, Martha Bellamy, uh, yeah. is found brutally murdered. That's in the DCI. That's D.I. 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 Martha Bellamy. Right, OK, that's we're, it. We're, okay. It's, you know, we're, she's dead. we're splitting hairs, but there's, there's, a, there's a bit of a difference between ranking DI and DCI, but they're both okay. obviously detectives all in right. charge. She's found dead. I mean, it all looks very gritty, and it's like a fly-on-the-wall sort of yeah. filming situation, isn't it? Yeah. But your dialogue is improvised. I can't believe that. Yeah, there's no script. That. No script. How, uh, how does that happen? Well, uh, no one writes one. <laughs> the worst thing you can do, which is what I did, is go home and try and prepare, yeah. uh, like you do as an actor, um, mm -hmm. only to arrive on set the next day and it to be completely thrown on its head because mm -hmm. someone opposite you does, doesn't do something that you expected or says something that completely negates what your plan was, etc., etc. So you have to be completely alert, completely uh, awake and listening which is great for an actor. The potential for chaos is great, Amazing. Though, isn't it? And sometimes order comes out of said chaos. But it, it's... As long as you hit the story beats uh, of each scene um, in order to get what becomes a very complicated uh, plot out, uh, the rest is up to you. So it's, it's great fun. Yeah, really I bet it is, fun. and you don't have to learn lines, do you? You don't have to learn lines, uh, but that's the least of your worries, it turns out, um, because whilst you don't have to learn lines, you do have to be good. You don't have anything to hide behind. You don't have lines to no. hide behind you. Mm. You have to sort of be constantly thinking. Do you know what I mean? So that is a challenge. And you see, you're challenge. writing it as you're going along, yeah. really, aren't you, in your head? It's you're incredible. writing and acting at the same time, yeah. Absolutely. Gosh. And also, I think the cameramen, aren't they documentary cameramen? And documentary cameramen are usually out on the road, cameras yeah. on their shoulders. The, we, yeah. What's great about this show is, whilst we had um, uh, a uh, directors and actors, obviously, from drama backgrounds, um, the crew were very much documentary crew. So the camera people in particular um, were just very used to hiding over there in the corner or up there on a wardrobe or down there uh, under a desk or whatever, getting whatever shot they think would capture the, the drama best um, and you didn't notice them and you could go anywhere uh, and they just said, we'll follow you no matter what. So that was really... Well, that's Amazing. reassuring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's reassuring yes. when they follow you. It would be, be, it'd be horrible if they didn't. You'd just end up wandering around the building like a mumbling fool. <laughs> now, let's talk about... Um, I know everyone talks about cutting it. Why do you think that made such an impact? Because p people do keep harking back to it. Oh, everyone well, remembers it for some reason. I think it was... What was good about cutting it from memory was it was a great mix of drama and comedy which spawned a lot a sort of it invented a new genre which is which is what they call dramedy i think at the moment um but up until then there hadn't really been much of that so it sort of it sort of mixed the light and the shade very well and debbie horsfield does that brilliantly so um you know that's that's what that show did, I think. It created that world. Now, when you said what was memorable about it, you should surely have said, that's where course, I met my wife, and I, that's surely. That's where I met my wife, yes, absolutely. <laughs> that was incredibly memorable. But you, you did ask what, what was, how the, why the show was such, such a success, obviously uh, because of her as uh, well uh, as Debbie Horsfield, yeah. She's gorgeous. You're a gorgeous couple, actually. Well, bless you, I'm yes. Unfeasibly so. And the makeup <laughs> department, very good, too. Yeah. And you've left little Nell at home, I think, yeah. Yeah, haven't you, your yeah. daughter? not alone. Don't worry. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are a detective, so uh, you would detective. never do yeah, that. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. She's yeah. Nell's six. She's great. She's yeah. um. She's on school holidays at the moment. She'll be fast asleep at the moment. So. Yeah. yeah she's fine. She's and good. Sarah's working. Sarah's working. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. Busy family. Busy. Yeah. Because we we run a charity as well. So um, the Murray Parish Trust. So uh, yeah. when we're not doing this kind of stuff, we're doing we're doing that. So, yeah, yeah and that's, that's right. for your little girl. Who yeah, you, Ella Jane, yeah. Uh, our first, um, our first, first daughter, daughter we lost yeah. from uh, congenital heart disease. Mm -hmm. So we've set up a charity in her legacy and her memory. Yeah. 
uh, and we raise money for a uh, pediatric emergency department down in the south. So, yeah, right. we're busy mm. doing that. Yeah, and our memory lives on. Always, always will do with you. Yeah. So eight months is any time difficult to lose yeah. a child, but they're becoming, you, they are little people almost. That yeah. eight months, they're starting to do things. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Lovely to see you, James. Thank Thanks you. Thank you very much for having food. me. Thank you. Oh, tonight, uh, no, tomorrow, tomorrow night, night Channel 5. Yeah. Channel 5, after Celebrity Big Brother. Excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pleasure. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe. But obviously, I didn't tell her kind of how the episode finished, so, yeah, she got a bit of a surprise when I was caught um, with my pants down, I think I can say. That's, well, what, that's... I think she physically almost assaulted you, didn't she? Yeah, I got a slap. For, yeah, she... Well, obviously, her friends are going to be watching, so they don't want to see her son doing that.